Hi guys. Happy Sunday. Okay, so I'm going to start out with my small, my hair is doing something, a small business shout out. Um, so this lady is actually someone I reached out into on Instagram. I saw a couple of her books and I thought they would be really fun to review. They go right along with my brand and my passion. You guys know if you've been following me, I am so passionate about giving your kids a solid foundation when it comes to the Bible and when it comes to growth mindset. So if I can find a product that does both, I pretty much jump on and like shout it from the rooftops. So her name is Mandy Fender. She has several different books. She sent me four of them. So I'm just going to show you the four real quick. Then we're going to get into journaling, which I'm so excited about showing you. I'm going to show you my December spread. I'm also going to show you last year's December spread and just kind of how you can mix the two if you want to and just answer some questions. Hi, Kat. So if you guys have any questions when it comes to journaling, go ahead and drop them in the comments and I will try to answer them as I go along. Um, but I want to show you these four books real quick. The first one is called The Whole Armor of God. It's a Bible study for kids. And it just has different lessons. There are places that they can journal the Bible verses that they're memorizing. Um, this would be really, really good for like a devotional one-on-one -on -one with your own kid or one-on-one -on -one, like a mentorship. Um, this talks about drawing the belt of truth. So it goes against the whole, goes through the whole armor of God. Um, draw your breastplate of righteousness, your shoes of peace, and it just goes through the whole thing. Um, and then there's a few cute little crafts in there. There's a couple little activity sheets that they can do. So the whole thing is just talking about the armor of God. The next one is called Mighty God Girls. This one I love. Um, same thing. This would be a one-on-one -on -one with your own kid. And it talks about girls are unique. Girls are victorious. Girls are excited. Girls are youthful. And just different characteristics of what it means to be a godly girl. And then it goes through, shows them where it's found in the Bible. It has a little devotional. And then it has a verse to go with it. And then also in the back, which I thought was really cute, there's a bunch of cute little coloring pages for them as well. So I'll link everything below um, so you guys can find her. The other two... Guys, if you're on here from the team, would you mind sharing this into the team pages and the team chat, please? The other two are devotionals. There's a pumpkin devotions, which would be a fall devotional, and there's gingerbread devotions, which would be a Christmas style devotional. Now, these would be awesome to use in your own house or if you are a Sunday school teacher or a junior church teacher. Um, it goes through, each one has a lesson, it has Verses that go with it, of course. It has craft ideas that you can do with that lesson. And then the back, again, has several coloring sheets that you can copy and use in your class. And the pumpkin one is the exact same way. So highly, highly would recommend these books if you have kids or if you are a teacher, either one. Again, her name is Mandy Fender. I believe that's her name on Instagram, but I will link everything down below when I'm done uploading this. And I wanted to show y'all just real easy how I keep track and how I get so many things done daily, weekly, monthly. Like my husband and I are always checking goals off of our list and I fully believe this is a huge reason for it. Um, you want to say hi? I'm here. You want a question? Quickly. Say hi. Hi. All right. Go. Not right now. Go with dad. She's hanging out with her dad for the afternoon. Um, so when it comes to journaling, first off, drop me a one if you regularly do journaling. It doesn't matter what it looks like. Everyone's journaling looks different. Yours doesn't have to look like mine and vice versa. Um, I will show you. I kind of go all out with mine. I very much do a spread every single month and I love it. So mine this month, hence my title, 
Harry Potter and the Christmas Journal. This is my spread for this month. And I'm just going to walk you through. So I'll be perfectly honest. I do two hour journaling sessions pretty much every single day. But it's not just journaling. Like it's journaling, devotional, reading. It's all, all together. And if you don't have two hours, don't let that freak you out. Like you can do this in 15 or 20 minutes. You pick and choose which part that you're like, hey, this is something that I feel could be beneficial to me. I'm going to do this every day. Um, so my first page here when I sit down. So this one is just a blank page. I put some cute, cute stuff on it. It's going to have some pictures from throughout the month. The next one. So this is just called numbers. So this I have a space written for every day of the month. Now, if you're on my team or if you are in the same industry, this would be a very easy way to track your volumes for the month. And that's how I do it. So the first of the month, I look up what are my volumes today? And then I look back at the last two months and I see, okay, is my business progressing or is it falling? Now, if you're not in the industry or you're not in any kind of like, I guess probably even like a sales job, you could do this if you wanted to, but you wouldn't have to. Maybe you are trying to lose weight and you're tracking, okay, what do I weigh today? And you do it for 31 days and you can look back on and compare yourself to the month before. Um, and some of these pages you can omit too, guys. If you're like, well, I wouldn't use that. Don't put it in there. You don't have to have everything in here like I have. But just a couple ideas of what you could track when it comes to daily could be your weight. It could be ounces of water that you're drinking every day if you want to track that. Um, it could be literally anything. So if you have ideas, drop them in the comments because other people can learn from you as well. The next page, this page I'm going to hide because it's not something I would show on Facebook. But the next page is just gratefulness. I've got a cute little snitch up here. Not snitch. What is this called? Oh my goodness. Y'all, my brain is blank. Um, and I have one for every single day. So what I do is I just write down one thing I'm grateful for that happened sometime in the last 24 hours. So one thing I'm grateful for. My next page, I've got the cute little owl with a Santa hat. There we go. You can see it's a scroll and it says small business list. So that I routinely partner, I Janice, I routinely partner with small businesses. Um, and just help them get exposure. So what I do is I make a list and that way when I do these videos, because I typically go live three to four times a week, typically, um, I, whatever my small business shout out is, I'll have a list of people I've told I would give a shout out. And so I can just mark them off as I go down the line. That way I'm never overlooking someone who has sent me a product to review. Um, I make sure that I get to every single person. So my next page, is new volumes again if you're not on the, in the business that's fine you can you, you could use these to track anything so maybe you're tracking sleeping habits maybe you're on keto and you're tracking making sure that you are staying on keto every single day um if you're in the business and you're doing new volumes i highly highly recommend tracking new volumes which is also code for new sales like if y'all don't know what we do or what my husband and i do anyways we do basically the social media advertising. So we put ads up on social media completely free, by the way, we don't pay for these ads on Facebook. And then anytime someone orders off of one of those ads, we get paid for it. So I track how many people order every single month, what they order, because this is something that I do as a full-time job. So for me, it's not just a hobby where I'm making a little extra money. Like I kind of need this to survive. <laughs> so I track it. Now, if you're not someone who maybe you're in the industry, but you just do it for fun, you don't track it, that's fine. You're just doing it as a hobby. If you're somebody who maybe you do have a sales job and you want to track those because December is a month where you can make a lot of money um, because that's one of the biggest months that people shop, then you can track it. Maybe if you, again, are wanting to track water or wanting to track, maybe you're homeschooling and you're tracking how many days you actually do school this month, whatever you want to track. My next two pages, again, are just cute little Christmas pages. I'm going to put some pictures on there. And then my last two pages for the actual fun stuff, this is where I'm tracking my Amazon gift cards. So it's just like potion bottles. It says Hogsmeade, which is like the restaurant type things that they have. So 
what I'm doing with this one is I'm, I work with a app that I get free Amazon gift cards. And by the way, this is open to anyone. So if you want to do that, message me. That is completely free. It's just an app that you download. And then you start earning Amazon gift cards by scanning certain receipts. So I earned 70 some dollars worth in November. So I'm just tracking. My goal is to earn one Amazon card a day. And I know it might sound crazy. That's okay. Guys, I'm, I'm known for being crazy. <laughs> like I am known for hitting very, very big goals and or setting very big goals and running for them. So if you think I'm crazy, I'm okay with that. So that's kind of what I'm working towards. Now, a couple other things you could add if you wanted to track certain things. I'm going to show you um, my last year, December. So this was last year's journal for December. It was cute little Christmas muff, not muffins. Oh my goodness, mittens. And then um, I just had a cute little quote on the side there. And a couple things, I tracked a mood tracker. So I just had ornaments and garland. And then what I did with that is like red was happy, green was sad, silver was irritated, um, blue was inspired, and yellow was overwhelmed. So every day. I would color in the ornament, whatever emotion I was feeling that day. Another thing that you can track if you want to, it just says these are a few of my favorite things. And I wrote down my favorite books for that month and some of my favorite songs. So my favorite books were Atomic Habits, still one of my favorite books. And songs were My Story by Big Daddy Weave and What Faith Can Do by Cutlass. I had a shopping list of things that I wanted for Christmas or before Christmas or after Christmas, just things that would come up and like, oh, I, you know, I wouldn't mind getting a few extra of these. So I think everything except one of them, I ended up getting between now and then, not necessarily for Christmas. Um, I think that is it. Okay, so that is it for the fun side of it. And you can track what you want. You don't have to track anything. If you're like, I just want to do some journaling. I don't want to like do the fancy smancy stuff. You don't have to. And I'm going to show you what I write down journaling every single day. So this side again, is just going to, I'm going to put a cute paper here and put some pictures. Um, what I actually write down, every day I write down five things that I am grateful for. So that I, I'm, I'm very, very specific guys. Five things that happened in the last 24 hours. So I haven't done my journaling today, um, so I can't give you an example because I haven't done it, but I'll show you or I'll tell you a couple things on yesterday's. So I was grateful that I realized I could turn my journal into a scrapbook because I love scrapbooking. I don't have time to do it, so I don't really do it, but I realized yesterday, like, why not do it all in one? Because these I have, I'm on number four. I just started journaling last year. Um, last November was actually my first month doing this. So I think I'm on either three or four of these. I can, I'm going to keep them. And in 10 years, I can look back. Okay, December, I can look back 10 years ago. What was I writing about? What was I grateful for? What was I journaling? You know, I can see pictures of my kid. It's basically like your memories on Facebook, except it's not on Facebook. So I thought it was super cute. Um, I was thankful I earned another $150 from this little advertising gig that we do. So I wrote it down. Like it's things that I'm literally talking to God, pouring out my heart of, okay, I'm grateful for literally everything that you're doing for us. So sometimes I'll write, you know, I'm thankful that I had a warm bed to sleep in. I am thankful that <laughs> this is dumb, but th this is the level of like gratefulness that I practice every single day. So last night I was really craving like a fried rice basically and I didn't want to go to a restaurant and buy any I found a box not not the real thing obviously but basically a box of like make your own fried rice in our cupboard and I made it and I ate it for dinner so it can be literally anything um I was thankful that again I was journaling and I was a little bit rushed last night um we were wrapping presents for one of the families that we bought Christmas presents for and so I was a little bit rushed getting some things done so we could sit down, watch a movie, wrap some presents. So Glory was taking a bath when I was journaling. And one of the things I'm thankful for is that she's old enough to take herself a bath now instead of me doing it for her. Like she's six. So she's pretty independent on most things. 
Um, the next thing that I write down, it's just called God. You can't see it. Oh, duh, it's on this side. So it just says God. Guys, I'm flipped around backwards, so it's hard to see this. It's hard for me to like know where I'm at. It says God. So this is things that some way that God has showed me that he loved me in the last 24 hours. So sometimes gratefulness and God overlap and that's okay. Um, one of the things was just the ability this whole week that I've been able to stick to my schedule and get so much done. We always have weeks where we have good intentions and things come up. So this has been one of those weeks we've just gotten a lot of stuff done. Um, I was very grateful that we got to wrapping some of the gifts last night because we have gifts for, no, not right now. We have gifts for 10, 13, including my daughter, 14 kids that we're wrapping for. Um, so that's a lot, <laughs> like that's a lot of work. So we have them all bought now, except I think I have one kid to finish up. I've got to run to the store. Um, cause they didn't have something online that I ordered. But now it's like we're in the wrapping phase and this is why I start so early. Some of y'all that donated to Operation Christmas, I was like, okay, you're starting the beginning of November. That's why. All November is when I shop. All December is when I wrap things. Um, the, I earned another Amazon gift card last night from that little app that I told you guys about. I was very grateful for that. Like any little thing that happens, I make sure that I'm telling God how grateful I am and acknowledging the fact that he's the one who did it. Because none of the stuff that I do, like I, even in our business, I can work and my husband and I can work as hard as we want to. And if we aren't partnering with God, we are not getting the results that we want. So the next thing that I write down is worship. So worship, and I do this super simply. You can do it as like elaborate as you want. Um, worship, I start with A. So December 1st, for example, I write down all the things that God is. It starts with an A. So he's Abba. He's all in all. He's amazing. He's awesome. Um, he's the alpha. Anything I can think of with an A. Day two, I write down B. So he is the best. He's big. He's my brother. Um, I can't think of any more Bs. If you can think of Bs, drop them down there. Um, and then C and then D and then E. So that's when I think of worshiping, that's what I do is what is God? Not what he's he done for me, but like, who is he? What is he? Um, cause he is so much more than we can fathom. The next thing I write down is business. And these are a few goals for our business. So I may write down, I want this much on a, month, a monthly check and I write it down until it happens. So I may write it down for months until it happens. I may write down, I am looking for, you know, 27 more customers in the next two weeks. That is actually a goal of mine right now. Um, this week and last week, I think my goal was to hit 20, custom, 20 new customers off of the ads that we put up. And I want to say we hit 18. Now today's not over, but I think that's what we hit for the two week period. Um, so I write down every single day, okay, I want 20 more customers. I sign a customer, the next day I want 19 more customers. I sign a customer, the next day I want 18 more customers. And I'm praying about them as I write them. So this is stuff that I'm writing down as a goal, but then I'm asking God to partner with me and have the right people see my ads and have the right people reach out to me when it comes to working with us and interviewing. Because a lot of times, just because someone reached out doesn't mean that they're qualified to do the business. And we'll tell them that. Like, I'm not going to tell anyone, oh, yeah, you'll be great at this if they're not actually going to be great at this. So it's nothing personal, but it's my husband and I are very, very, very picky with who we work with at this. So if we're going to coach you and really help you make money online, you've got to be coachable and you've got to be a hard worker. So a lot of times it's just not something that we feel is a good fit. And we'll tell you that. Um, then I write down action. So what are two or three things? that I can do today to get me closer to my business goals. Then I'll write down a few personal goals. That could be, um, right now my husband and I are both losing weight. So we have, each of us have a number we're trying to hit. And so I write that down every single day. Then I'll write down what are the actions I can do today to get me closer to that goal. And then pray. So pray is when I write down specific things that I wanna pray for. It could be me, it could be other people. I try to write down minimum of five things. 
Um, and that's just, again, partnering with God is going to get you further than doing it on your own. It's as simple as that. And then I write down affirmations. One of my affirmations daily is I am highly favored and my actions are anointed. Meaning I am highly favored by God. And I'm trying to live to the best of my knowledge with what he would have us do with our time, with our money, with our kid, with our life, like anything that we can do to glorify him more. And I fully believe if we are living in that and we are constantly seeking his guidance, that he is magnifying our actions when it comes to us hitting our own goals. Because we're using our goals and everything that we do to turn around and further give him glory. So that's that's what I write down every single day. I'll write down things like I am confident. I'll write down things like I attract leaders into my business. I'll write down things like I'm highly favored and my actions are anointed. I'll write down things like I consistently make healthy decisions. I'll write down things like, I am an awesome mom. I am an awesome wife. I am an intentional mom. I am an intentional wife. Um, just, there's obviously, it's different for every day, but those are what the five things that I write down for affirmations all the time. So that's what I do for this. Then what I do, I shut my journal, I pick up my phone, and I go into Facebook, and I pray for family. So my family, and you're going to have to divide your family up into like what makes sense to you, I guess. But for me, I have, I pray for my immediate family, which is my mom and my siblings. So on day one, that's what I pray for. What I'll do is I'll go to their Facebook page. I'll just like and comment on a few posts because it gets my mind focusing on them. My Their face is fresh in my, in my head. And so when I actually pray for that person, I'm thinking about them. Um, day two, I pray for my husband's side of the family. So his brothers and sister-in-law, his mom, grandparents, aunts and uncles, people that I actually know and I've met. Day three, I pray for half of my dad's side of the family because he's a pretty big side. Day four, the other half. And then day five, I pray for my mom's side of the family because I don't know my cousins and stuff that well. And I know less of them. Like my dad's side of the family we grew up with, so I know a lot more of them. So I rotate five days and I pray for family every single day. So every day I open my Facebook, whatever branch of family I'm praying for that day, I go to their pages and I just kind of like have them fresh in my mind as I'm praying for them. And then my second part of praying for other people is I pray for five people who aren't family. So sometimes it's random. Usually it's not. Usually what I'll do is I have lists. And so I will go to like December, for example, or November. All of the new teammates that signed up with me in, in December, in November, I'll go through in increments of five. So like today I'll do five, tomorrow I'll do five until my whole list is done. And I'll go to their page. I'll like and comment a couple things and I'll pray for them. I'll pray for their family. The reason I use Facebook too is a lot of times if people have a prayer request, they'll put it on Facebook. They'll say, or oh, they'll, they won't say pray for me, but they'll say, man, you know, um, just got back from the emergency room. My kid spilt water on his leg or whatever it is, then I have something that I can specifically pray for them. I do that with customers. So any five people that aren't your family, that's kind of what I do. Once I'm done with that, that's when I sit down and do my devotional. I use the version app. So every day I log in and it just gives me my devotion for the day. And then I've also got my study Bible right beside me. So I can sit and flip to whatever verse they're talking about, make notes. I can elaborate if I want to study it a little bit further. And then the last thing I do is I read five pages of whatever book I'm reading. Very, very important that you're reading a book, not just listening to Audible. Like the only exception I would say is if you physically cannot read. For example, like my friend Billy, we were talking about this and he gets headaches from reading like bad ones, anything. So he doesn't read. I would say that's an exception, but 99.9% .9 of us don't read because we don't have time, which is not a reason. It's an excuse. So make time to read. I only read five pages, guys. It literally takes me three minutes. Five if the book's like much smaller print, but read five pages of something. So I hope that helps. 
you can go back and watch the replay. But basically, I, as soon as I open my journal, I track my different things for the day. So whatever you're trying to make a habit of, that you can track. I do my actual journaling, which is writing down what I'm grateful for, um, what God is to me. Just kidding. What God's done for me, what God is for me, is to me. Some business goals, some action steps, some personal goals, some action steps, um, a few prayer requests, and some affirmations. And then I pray for other people because I do think it's important to not just be worrying about our own goals and what we're doing in our own life. I do my devotion for the day and then I read my five pages. I've been dealing with migraines for four, for a week, four weeks, a week. I don't know what that says. I'm, my eyes aren't very good, so I can't even see the thing. I would have to like pull it close. I get awful migraines, so I fully, I had had one this morning actually, which was obnoxious. I literally on the way to church had my eyes closed the whole time because my head was hurting so bad. Took so much medicine and luckily we're down to like a three on the pain scale right now. But I told my husband, I said, if it's, get, if it's this bad, like it doesn't lay off after Sunday school, I'm going to be go lay in the car while you guys go to regular church. <laughs> and then I'm going to go home and go back to bed. So luckily it didn't. But anyways, I hope that helps guys and I will talk to you guys later.